up everybody welcome to the channel and in this video i am at the location in which this picture that was just released not that long ago by rockstar on their website here so we've got this location and just to let you guys know if you didn't know this location this is an iconic location you should know what this location is but if you don't this is uh trevor's meth lab so, yeah, this is Trevor's Meth Lab, in which I suppose there's a store, and then on top of it, they cook methamphetamines. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go inside of there, and I'm going to show you guys this meth lab. So, I'm in an online session right now, and I'm going to let you know. This is something that we used to be able to do a long time ago. But, uh, in, you know, some updates at some point, we are not allowed to go in here anymore. Well, I'm in here, but how long will I last? Before I get hit with a black screen. Hold on, let's count it out. Three, four, well, oh, about four seconds. I made it about four seconds <laughs> in there before it's like, nope, you don't get to go in there. We don't want you in there. You don't need to be in there. And this is considered to be now a location in which, like, you, you can't go into. So what I'm going to have to do is start up a titan of a job because this is, like, the only way that I know how to get in there without getting black screen like that and kicked out. In a lot of other places too where this uh, phenomenon seems to happen where Rockstar just doesn't want players to go and they want it to be like particularly uh, you know in my mind I guess something exclusive for story mode but whatever so there's a window over here you guys and we can use a deluxo to just smash right through there and we're just gonna do that now real quick so we're gonna get in here other than that there's no real other way of getting in here okay so there is like I think a survival where you guys can actually do like the survival mission and maybe I should have just started that up but I didn't want to get you know shot at while we're going in here and trying to scope things out and stuff like that which is why like you know I kept going to this location to see if there's anything special that would spawn in particularly um, but I don't really know so something that Rockstar did mention uh, in their you know newswire or whatever and they were saying that we're gonna be getting some sort of potential acid lab to where you know if you guys know what acid is that's like you know in my mind it's like LSD right and then it was talking about in one part where we're gonna be going on these trips and this is also what they've you know what Rockstar has said is it's going to be a massive multi-part DLC so I can just imagine, uh, hopefully, is that a bra hanging from the ceiling up there? I think it is. I think that was a bra hanging, <laughs> hanging from the ceiling. So if you guys remember, too, that, like, you know, in story mode, this was a popular area for one minute or another to where they were, like, you know, getting ready to set up a heist here, and Michael was in here, and, like, Trevor was eating something, I think, out of the fridge and ended up, like, puking it back up, and I don't really know, but it's pretty crazy. And uh, we are in the location right now, but is this going to be the new location for the business is every player going to be going out here because rockstar did say also that we were going to be getting some sort of new property or a hideout or a warehouse and then they also mentioned that there are going to be some new cell missions potentially in the game that are going to be coming soon along with the you know is it going to be a new business we don't really know too much of the details um but we do know a lot more now with the information that rockstar did post yesterday morning i believe on you know rockstar games website so that's what i was wondering right there because from story mode like you know this is a well-known trevor's meth lab right and then they're talking about how we're gonna be out in sandy shores and blaine county doing stuff out here and we're gonna be running into some characters that potentially we have worked with before so characters that we have worked with before number one Trevor Phillips. Trevor Phillips is like king of Sandy Shores, I think, at the you know at this juncture in time, at least what anybody could you know imagine that you know Trevor Phillips Enterprises is running things out here at the meth lab and other things like that. So I could imagine definitely that they could have Trevor Phillips coming back into the game doing potentially something you know as um, you know leader of some sort of gang that i i have no idea at this point you know what i'm saying um the the sky's the limit you know and also people have speculated that michael's gonna be coming into the game for this dlc and time will only tell but 
they did bring in Franklin, right? And you would only suspect or expect that, you know, they're going to be bringing in the other characters at some point for some sort of great finale for GTA 5 because we all know that GTA 6 is getting made. It's been in the progress and hopefully that thing will be, you know, speculated to come out in like 2024 or 2025 i think or something like that so we still have a ways to wait there and also rockstar did report that they have a couple uh good years remaining for dlcs here in the in the uh gta online length and i'm sure if they wanted to just keep doing dlcs they could do that we're supposedly oh i just lit a fire over there <laughs> <laughs> watch out it's gonna blow up we are getting this new contact dax which is supposedly like uh, a juggalo boss or something like that if you guys don't know what a juggalo is it's like a fan of the insane clown posse if you don't know who they are just google them they're pretty popular um a lot of people know about them at least what they do they're like uh horrorcore underground wicked rappers or something like that the best thing that i can you know try to explain it but yeah, you guys, it would be kind of weird too, in my mind, if this place turned into some LSD thing because there's a lot going on in the picture that I showed you in the beginning of the video there that was posted on Rockstar Games' website where it shows like new vehicles. There's a couple new vehicles there. But then the one thing that it's like spotlighting here is the meth lab talking about how there, we're going to be interacting with characters. And then other people are saying that Wade might be coming back into the game. And, you know, I would probably expect Wade to be coming back into the game because in story mode, Wade is like one of Trevor's friends are out in the trailer park. And he is 100% a juggalo because, you know, he's got uh, the, the, his face painted at one point in the adventure of, you know, doing story mode. But anyways, from there, you guys, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about this for a minute and a lot of the stuff that's going on uh, and going to be going on in the game here very shortly, right around the corner. We do not have a trailer yet for this DLC, but there are going to be a ton of new, uh, I would say, updates and, you know, potentially things that are going to make the game a whole bunch better. So we are getting a graphics update here on PlayStation 5, is which why what I'm on. And then also Xbox Series X and S is going to be getting a graphics update. And if you guys didn't know, like a couple days ago, I think Fortnite just got a huge Unreal Engine 5 like update. So they are rocking some insane graphics there over in Fortnite, which makes me uh I don't play the game, but it almost makes me just want to download it and check it out so I can experience you know, the graphics on uh, the highest quality that the PlayStation 5 uh, can go up to, you know, and potentially maybe a PC or something like that. So anyways, from here, you guys, I'm over at the meth lab. It doesn't look like there's anything here, particularly that I could find any type of like construction sites or something like that. But we do know it's out in Blaine County and there are um, a couple construction sites out here and there's one real huge construction site. And I know you guys know of this construction site. It's as you're driving out here, you know, as you're going past uh, Ron Wind Farm or something like that, or uh, basically kind of over there, over towards the farms. Uh, bunker farm but anyways you know so anyways yeah you guys i just wanted to go ahead and once again touch base on this and talk about what's going on in the game and what we're going to be looking forward to so anyways from there if you guys did in enjoy the video hit the like button on the way out subscribe for more content and thanks for watching my name is gravesite and i'll see you in the next one so peace